Hi, this message is for Leo. Here with a general reading for the sign of Leo. <clears throat> Boom. Sorry, my throat chakra is already getting involved in this. Um, this could resonate with anyone who has Leo in their chart. I'm going to go ahead and get the spread out for you, Leo, and then we'll get right into the reading. Um, for those of you who do not like the shuffling, who do not like the shuffling, um, please just move forward in the recording to where the reading begins. There's, <clears throat> there's usually someone who will um, timestamp <sighs> time the, when the reading... Sorry, I'm, I'm moving. All right, I'm moving. What's happening now for Leo? What's happening now for Leo? Woo, Leo, Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups with the Queen of Swords. Ten of Cups, Queen of Swords. Ten of Wands. Death and the Ace of Cups. What in the world? I knew I felt something powerful. I mean, you heard, you heard me like really not even be able to talk when I entered this reading. So um, <clears throat> we have a lot of powerful, profound changes coming in for you, Leo. It's happening now. All right. So Leo, we have the Ten of Cups. Okay. I'm going to keep, I, I, I'm, ugh. okay. I need to keep moving because I'm going to get drawn into this before the reading actually begins. <laughs> but it's really exciting. We have the Ten of Cups with the Ten of Wands. We have Death Energy, which is a rebirth energy. And we have the Ace of Cups, which is new love. Something new and profound coming in for you. Leo. So that's really exciting. Um, please give us guidance for the upcoming energy. Please give us guidance for the upcoming energy, please. Please give us guidance for the upcoming energy. Six of Cups. Please give us guidance for the upcoming energy. Six of Cups for Leo. Please give us guidance. Please give us guidance. Please give us guidance for the upcoming energy. Please give us guidance, please. Energy that's waiting to come out. Please give us guidance. There we go. A lot of communication now. A lot of communication. Oh my gosh. Tower now coming out. All right. <clears throat> There's so many cards here. I don't even know. Like, so I'm going to put the guidance just in one section. I'm going to put these in one section. So I'm going to go like this. You know, I can never really plan for what's going to come out. I can have a system and I can have a spread, but. Whatever we're given, we're given. So um, we have to be flexible, just like we have to be flexible in life. Me as a reader, I have to be flexible with what I'm doing. So um, what's coming in next? What's coming in next for the, in the next 7 to 10 days? But I think for this group of you, it could be longer than that. It could be over a month or two or three. Because this is a huge thing that's coming out here. This is not something that happens in just one week. I mean, I'm sorry, but it's not. Okay? So... Um, this for the next, I'm going to say the next seven to 10 days, but we're all moving at different speeds. We're moving through different kinds of experiences. So while I say seven to 10 days, it could be over a period of time. All right. So let's look here at what is this next energy wave that Leo is connecting in with. The next energy wave that Leo is connecting in with after this current one, because this current one is huge. All right. So what is the next energy wave that Leo is connecting in with? Eight of Swords. All right. Eight of Swords. What is the next energy wave? What is the next energy wave? Emperor. Okay. That makes sense to me. What is the next energy wave? Sun. Try to come out. What is the next energy wave? Knight of Pentacles. All right. That's good. What is the next energy wave? Four of Pentacles and the Five of Pentacles. So right now, Leo, you guys, this group of Leos are, is in like a major victory at this point in time. All right. So you're in a major kind of a victory or you're coming into, you are almost like the Pisces energy. Um, okay. I'm going to do this one at a time and I'm not going to take too long, Leo. I'm not going to take too long. So let's start first with the current energy of the, this is like three readings in one, but that's okay. We're happy to do this. We have the Ten of Cups. So this is feeling a lot of emotional fulfillment. Um, you have, and it could be with a Gemini here, all right? It could be with a Gemini. It could be with a Libra or an Aquarius. But you have a lot of um, emotional fulfillment. You're living in it. You're living in happiness. You're living in joy. Something beautiful has happened in your life. Um, you've had to work really hard to protect this and to bring this in. 
Um, this is a victory though. This is definitely a victory. So uh, maybe some of you are um, pregnant or maybe some of you have um, reached a new level in your relationship where you have found this um, found resolution now where you have found a certain victory. Uh, but this is an emotional victory here and you've worked hard for this. You've had to protect it. You've worked hard for it is what's coming out. All right. So the 10 of wands is here now. So this is the end of a period of time for you right now, as we speak, Leo, where you are going to be feeling the burden of the responsibility. All right. So now you have a teammate or now you have a new team or a new way of working where you're not the only person. You're not bearing the load by yourself. You're not someone else's puppet. You're not in someone else's control. You have found um, what's next after the Ten of Wands is the Ace of Wands, right? So you're at the ending of a period of time where you felt overburdened, where you felt it's all been on your shoulders. You've maybe been doing everyone else's work, all right? You could have new happiness in the workplace because um, you have really learned how to protect yourself here. You've pushed back on other people. You have decided to um, only do what's within your own job description and not do anything else, right? It could be something like that. You could have started a new relationship um, where you are feeling very emotionally fulfilled. You're at the end of a period of time um, where you, um, at the end of a period of time where you continually cycled through relationships that were toxic, where that you continue to overgive in your life, right? You had to defend something here with the Queen of Swords. Either you have an air sign here that is part of this team with you, and it's an ending in your in your timeline, it's an ending in your experience of um, being in someone else's control or being impacted by a third party or being impacted by an outside influence, for, for example. You're at the end of that now. There's new freedom here. There's new There's a new lightness here. There's a new, happy, beautiful relationship here in some way or another. If it's not a relationship, it is beautiful sanctuary in your space, my friend. Okay, you can reach the Ten of Cups alone. You can reach the Ten of Cups in a solitary way. Many people do it. I've done it myself, and it's truly beautiful. So it doesn't have to be in a, in a relationship. But for some of you, you are finding it within a relationship. And for some of you, you're finding it by yourselves. The Queen of Swords is often a divorced person. Okay, so you could have gone through a divorce, you could have ended it, and now you're in, you're finding new peace in your life, right? It could be in any way, but these are the energies that are here, right? Then we have transformation. So you are seeing it. You are seeing it come into fruition, Leo. You're seeing it right now. You're seeing it. This is a rebirth. You had to go through this very difficult period of time to find your freedom. You could have been pushed to the absolute limit in the past, to the absolute limit, <coughs> definitely. And this is, has to do with expression. It has to do with expression. Most definitely, you had to be forced somehow to defend yourself or defend your boundaries or express yourself or say no or say that's it, that's the end. Something had to come to an ending here for there to be a new beginning. And you've gone through the ending and you've experienced a new beginning or you're about to experience a new beginning. And we have the Ace of Cups. We have the Ace of Cups. New love. New love in one way or another. And this is a new love. Okay? So if you're an existing couple that went through something very drastic in your lives, and you have recovered, and you have fought your way through, you have a new revitalized love. If you have been in a difficult situation and you have gone through a divorce and you have refound yourself and recreated yourself and now you have found fulfillment as a single person, you have new love, my friend. New love in self even, new love in life, or perhaps there is a new love here for you, okay? If you have been struggling in work and being controlled with other people by other people and you've had to defend your boundaries and say no, you have... Um, went through a major change in your work situation. You have now find emotional, found emotional fulfillment. You have a new love of your occupation, a new love of business, a new love of your job, right? It can fit in many different ways. You could even heal from a disease or from a sickness, right? It could be so many ways, but these energies are here and they cannot be denied. They confirm each other, right? They confirm each other. What is the guidance here? What is the guidance here? We have the six of cups, we have the nine of wands, and we have the tower. 
all came in as they are. None are in reverse, right? So this is major change coming in here for you, major change, right? Let's clarify the tower, but this is major change. It has to do with family. It has to do with warm fuzzy. It has to do with your legacy of who you are, who you were raised up as, what is in your DNA, what, what do your roots connect to, what does your crown chakra connect to, who are you as an individual. It has to do with your story, your personal self. It has to do with your legacy. It's a strong feeling with the Six of Cups. I can feel it. Nine of Wands, you're not backing away from this. You might be scared. You might be a little hesitant, but you know who you are. We have the six and the nine. Beautiful. Six and nine here. What happens when you put the six and the nine together? It's eternity. I can't do it here, but it's an eight. Right? It's like an, an eternity symbol. Tower. Why is a tower here? Why is a tower here? Why is a tower here? There's something new you're working on. Something new here. It's created great change for you. And it's something real. It's something real. Two of Cups, a new partnership, a new love, a new partnership, a new family member. Beautiful. A big change. A big change is coming for you. It's beautiful. It's with a partner. It's something that you can see, touch, feel, hear, experience. It's something for real. It will be with you for a very long time. It could be about family and you're not running away. You know it's big. You know it's big and you're not running away. You're staying there. You're not dropping it. You're staying there. You're staying with it. You're staying with it. You're a soldier. You might have scars and you might have wounds but you're a soldier and you're going to soldier on because you know what's coming for you is this 10 of cups and this new love. And you're not going to say no to that. You worked a long time to get to this place. This is a beautiful place to be. So there is guidance here that there is major change coming for you. It's something that you have started already, or it has something very tangible with it. And it's with a partner and it's a beautiful feeling. It's great change. 10 of pentacles. Oh my gosh. The star you guys, Oh my gosh, it's so exciting, Leo. <sighs> Ten of Pentacles with the Ten of Cups. Okay, so Leo, this is it for you. This is this is guidance that this is a big stage in life for you. You're going to feel comfortable in your home. You're going to feel um, happy with your legacy. You're not going to be worried about money. You're going to feel emotional fulfillment. There's healing here. There's a beautiful new partnership here. There could be, this is a second air energy. Let me see the energies I have here. We have air, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We have Scorpio energy. All right, we have Aquarius energy. So those are the energies we have so far. So we have water, air, water, air, some uh, and pentacles here. Passion. All right. All right, so now we have something huge coming in, right? Pi uh, right, Leo? Not Pisces, Leo. All right, Leo, there is something big coming in. And you know you're at the frontier of a beautiful experience. All right, it's, there's going to be learning when we have the tower, even though it's beautiful. And even though it has some immense, beautiful energies around it, there are going to be feelings of change. And change can bring in fear. It can be hard. And we're going to go into this next level now. This next incoming wave is going to be starting to learn through that. Okay, so we're going to start to learn through that energy. We're going to step into the tower. All right, so let's put down now what happens when we step into the tower. All right, so this is, all right, so this clarified this. All right, I just have to get myself in order. And this was what's happening now with Leo. Oh, it's so big. It's powerful. Let's look what happens in the next wave. All right. So ultimately what's happening here is that you're beginning to walk in this change. You have the eight of swords next to the emperor. So this is an Aries energy, but you're going to have some thoughts that you're going to, you could be triggered in the next wave. You could be triggered um, to kind of go back into an old way, an old way that you used to be, or an old way that you used to think, but you have the emperor here. This is because you have come so far. You're able to have discipline. You're able to have control over your thoughts. You will intentionally work to not move back into the Eight of Swords. You will find yourself there, 
And all of us do, especially me. I'm an error. I find myself in the, air, in the Eight of Swords all the time. All right, but we know that we're there and we can use this discipline of the emperor energy. We can use this discipline to pull ourselves out of an old way of thinking, knowing that we have a new beautiful reality here in front of us. And it's going to, it's going to take the discipline and an intentional thought, the intentional focus of being completely in the new space, not allowing ourselves to move back into that old cycling of thoughts. We have to intentionally focus on this new beautiful reality and not get back in old cycles of thinking, old cycles of behavior. All right. So that's what you're going to be working on in the next wave of energy to kind of continue to move forward in this beautiful energy, continue to glide in it, to not jump off the bandwagon or not to get onto someone else's problem. So you could even have someone else coming into your space, some other distraction, some other person, Right? Perhaps you could have someone in your family that's creating drama or something. That's going to take some discipline for you to stay in this beautiful energy. All right. So you're going to be working to not get into the Eight of Swords. You'll find yourself there a little bit, but you'll be able to pull yourself out with this Emperor energy. All right. And we have this continual progress forward, Leo. Continual, steady progress forward. You are conquering this Eight of Swords. This emperor energy, this fragment within you, this emperor energy that you have within you, this very specialist type, type energy, the discipline energy, the need for um, daily routines and daily processes for yourself, daily ways of thinking, maybe meditation, maybe daily things that you do in your life so that you don't go back into an old way of thinking, an old way of thinking about yourself. You know, if you're going to become a father here, I mean, we have a new baby, or if you're going to become a mother, um, and, and maybe you had another situation in the past, maybe you had a situation where there was um, a toxic relationship, and um, maybe you had a, um, a difficult parenting experience, and now you have a new marriage, and you, and you have a new baby on the way. You could sometimes get into that zone where um, you could be triggered to, to be going back into the old way of, of of operandi, you know, the old way of operating, uh, you know, now this is a new situation. You have a completely new situation here. And so I think you're able to move through this quite easily, actually with a of swords, but it is part of the next energy wave, right? That's what we're talking about. This next phase, it's a part of that picture for you. And we see you making steady progress forward here uh, with the Knight of Pentacles and it's stable and you can see the progress. You can see the progress happening. It might be slow and it might feel slow for you, Leo. Um, sometimes life is like that, um, but whatever you see happening, it's really happening. It's not a dream. It's not a dream. It's for real happening in your life. That's the Knight of Pentacles. We have the Four of Pentacles again. It is not a dream, right? It is not a dream. You have new stability now. You have a new foundation now with the Four of Pentacles, right? You're at the beginning of something new. We had the Three of Pentacles here earlier, right? We had the three of pentacles come out earlier. Now you're at the four of pentacles. You're moving forward in this journey. You have the five of swords now. Let's clarify the five of swords. Let's use this Celtic deck. Why is the five of swords here? Nine of cups. You're, you had, you're, you could still be kind of in a way, justice, yeah, as, as normal, I already know what this is. Yeah. Okay. So I felt it earlier. There are some situations here, Leo, where you could be dealing with outside influences, outside people, outside influences, maybe the community, maybe an ex-partner, whatever you're dealing with here, you've had to deal with continual disruption and pain by some kind of outside influence. All right. So, um, Again, there is a past here. There is a history here that you could still be working through, but we do have pain with the three of cups here. So there is some kind of outside influence here. You, you have the five of swords in the next wave. So you will continue to have some kind of conflict here, but it's only a five. It's a short term conflict. So like short term cutting conflicts and you will learn how to be victorious. You already have learned because you've went through a transformation. You've already learned how to be victorious here. It's easy as pie for you now, but we do see that you will con continue to kind of deal with this, uh, but we do have justice with the Nine of Cups. We do, sorry. We do have justice with the Nine of Cups, Leo. So your wishes are coming true. 
you are focused on your, your own health now, right? You're not letting anyone else. Where is that? Did I put them back? The three of cups with the three of swords. You're not letting anyone else. You're not allowing malicious, malicious energy in. You're not allowing any kind of an ex or any kind of a person in your life to come in and ruin this experience for you because you're focusing on the health of the self now. This, the nine of cups is self-awareness, self-focus, making decisions in your own best interest. Stop stopping over giving, stopping sacrificing yourself for someone else because you figured out that the other people around you or this other outside influence is not healthy. It will take like a vampire. It will take. So you've learned now to focus on yourself and this self-awareness and self-focus is bringing in wishes for you, right? We have justice now. So there is some kind of major victory here. There, there is an equalization about this conflict that has been in your life before. You have learned how to overcome this. And it has not been easy, but you have learned how to overcome this. And because you can overcome these conflicts, your wishes are coming true for you. Um, and you're feeling new equality in your life, right? That's the general scope of things. So Leo, um, it's, a, it's a crazy dramatic story for you this, this week. And I think for some of you, yes. Maybe it is in the next seven to 10 days, but the current energy is huge for you. It's huge for you. I think some of you, this could be like a three month process for you. It just depends on what your story is. For some of you, let's say there is a baby here, a new family starting. Well, we know that babies take nine months to get here, right? So sometimes things take time, Leo. And so it's, it's hard for me, and I know some of you want that, and it's frustrating when I don't give you a time frame. I am saying, for some of you, this is seven to ten days, but for others of you, this could be a three-month period, is what I'm saying, right? So that's what's coming out. Beautiful reading. Um, let's look here at, at, before I go, and I am going to do an extended reading, and we're going to dig deeper into some of these energies. We're also going to take this scenario and move it out into the future, and once I have the, the spread down and once I have read it, I'm going to bring the um, dowsing rods with my timing chart. And we're going to look at when these elements in the future will happen. For right now, let's look. Um, man, there's so, so many amazing energies here. Let's clarify this tower. The tower came with the three of pentacles, the ten of pentacles, the ten of cups. The two, I mean, it's just, it's so many profound a huge change here for you. Let's dig. I'm going to put some of these. Oh, I don't know what I want to do. It's so many big energies. So many big energies here. This Ten of Cups was over here. Let's look at the tower. What? Tell us more about this tower. Because I think this tower is in the future. This tower is a part of your next story of the next couple of months. That's the tower. Let's tell me more about this tower, please. Tell me more about this tower. There's something here. This is so... Leo, I am not freaking kidding. There's something here that's started. There's something here that started. This is a second Ace of Cups. There's something here that's already started. All right, it's already started with the Three of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles is something that has already began. It's an energy of working together, of compromise, of learning together, but it's something that you're working together on that's already started. It's not an idea. It's not some new actions you're taking. The Three of Pentacles has already started. And now you're working to grow it. You're working to raise it. You're working to um, blossom it. All right, and this is around new love. A new relationship, a new child, a new grandchild, a new job, a new business, something here is profound. It's the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. All right. So it's a profound change in your life. This is so beautiful. Okay. More information. This is the most beautiful tower I've ever seen, Leo. It's the most beautiful tower I've ever seen, to be honest with you, in a very long time. The tower. Please help me understand the tower. Nine of Wands, and you're not running away. And this is a second Nine of Wands. We have two Nine of Wands. You're not running away. You're standing there and saying, I've worked hard for this. I've put in my years. I've put in my time. I am not running away from this. I am saying I am worthy of this life. I am worthy of this new, beautiful life. 
I have gone through something deep and dark, and I am worthy for something beautiful. I am worthy of a new beautiful life. I am not running away. Chariot with the six of... Oh, my gosh. There's, there's change coming. There's change coming, my friends. And it's going to be peaceful and beautiful. This tower is talking about a major, beautiful, new relationship, new child, new home, a new move to a new country, um, a new introduction of, a, of someone who is so deeply connected to you. It, it's something that will forever, forever and ever change your life. This is happening to this group of Leos. What is this, Leo? What is happening here? Because it's profound. <sighs> okay, I'm going to move to the extended. We're going to take this into the future and see what happens in the future. And we'll look at timing. Thank you, Leo. This is a beautiful story. I wish you all the best. Congratulations, my beautiful, powerful friends.